what makes a good leader? So uh, over to you. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, right. take this one. So earlier this year, um, CMI refreshed a report that actually came out in 2014 and it was uh, a 21st, or called 21st century leader. And it, it actually, um, what that identified along with higher education institutions was uh, the need for more work ready graduates. Mm -hmm. What we've done is we re revisited that report and looked at what's changed in those four years. Um, and this new report goes a little bit further. And, and one of the real key insights uh, in what em employers value most are things like the following. So taking responsibility, uh, being honest and ethical, um, acting, oh, sorry, I, I'm just reading off the list, uh, having people management skills, mm -hmm. problem solving and critical analysis and collaboration and team working. And, and those uh, sort of insights were something that came back across the board within 21st century leaders. Um, mm -hmm. And again, what we've done is we've, we, we've now drilled down into focusing on what um, the impact CMI can have as the professional body, what the institution can have, yes, as a higher education, but also now interestingly further education as the, the levy opens up the, the, the players in the game, so to speak, in terms mm -hmm. of who can be involved, mm -hmm. um, and then also the actual program itself. Mm -hmm. um, and at CMI, um, we're really focused on uh, resilience also. I think that's something that shines through, and particularly mm -hmm. in, in, our, in our qualification development mm -hmm. also. So yeah. Uh, Good skills for a good leader. Okay, absolutely. I mean, I, the first thing I think of, I think when I look at this list, I almost think back to some of the kind of the best managers I've worked mm -hmm. with. I don't know whether you do the same. Absolutely. And I try and think the people that really kind of inspired me, motivated me, yeah. and really people I wanted to get behind certainly had some of the the traits that you can see uh, in this list. Um, would you agree with that? Yeah, absolutely. I think inspirational was the word I was thinking actually. Yeah. Which I guess falls under people management skills. Yeah. Broadly, um, and also the honesty side of things. For me, yeah. I've always really appreciated transparency in a manager. If they're giving me bad news, and it's honest bad news, that's yeah. great. If they're trying to pull the wool over your eyes in some way, the relationship breaks down entirely. Totally, I yeah. think so. Those are the two that, that I think speak to me. The leadership mm. and management is very reflective in the culture of the company, and yeah. I think the culture of the company is something that is really important in terms of um, staff and how they feel and. Uh, wanting to, to get on whatever mm -hmm. whatever that way it may be but all, it, it tends to be a, you know if it's reflected throughout the different management levels yeah um, you can tend to tell a, a business that has a, a nice culture yeah you know? I agree when it comes to culture when it comes to mission values purpose yeah all of those things have to be driven by the whole of the management team yeah in order to get to every level yeah. of the business otherwise I think it's getting that buy-in at, at yeah. every level of the business also because you get yeah. some you know the best ideas don't always come from the top row. I think that's absolutely true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with that completely.